straight up, bro. Like, look, in this video, man, I, I don't really want to feel my ego too much, you know. I, I'm not trying to be egotistical at all. I, I, I don't, I just don't, like, do, I, I, I try to fight every day, man, not to feel my ego, man, because ego is the death, bro, it's the death in me, personally, you know, uh, and, dude, like, kind of, kind of like what I was saying, dude, like, I, I kind of look at humans like animals, bro, they're just like animals, dude, you know, they're, they're, Humans are just like animals to me, bro. To me personally, I, I I don't I don't know how everyone believes, and I'm not gonna try to make everyone believe the way I believe and what I believe in. All right, so I'll say you you believe whatever you want to believe in, and go go believe whatever you're gonna do, man. And that's that's normal. That's like animal instinct, bro. Dude, when I start watching National Geographic and like documentaries about animals bro it's it's almost like it's just like humans man and like that's just how i think bro that's how i think dude like when when there's the when there's the multiple beta males in a, in a pack in like four or five or six i think they're fucking hyenas to me they personally i relate them to to little hyenas okay when 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 there when there's six 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 betas in front of me, they're all they're all little filthy hyenas, dude. And and, and hyenas are powerful when when they're in pack pack mentality. They could really kill a big strong lion if they all if they all just gang on gang up on them. And that's what hyenas do when they when they're mad at a lion. They they all they all start biting them and clawing at them and they'll kill the lion. And same with an elephant, dude, with an elephant. When a big ass, powerful, majestic elephant is it, it wants to be eaten by, by lions, five or six lions will just start fucking the elephant up and start slaughtering it, dude. And, and just, just like humans, bro, when you see a big ass, obese, freaking 300 pound human, it's like a goddamn elephant. A goddamn freaking hippopotamus, you know, and the birds just keep on picking at, picking at the humans. It's just humans are the same way, dude. I've seen some obese freaking 500 pound female, and I was like, bro, she's a straight elephant, bro. She's an elephant, or she's a hippopotamus. And then I would see some people that remind me of birds, and I'm like, dude, these these five chicks right here, these these female. They're like birds just picking at picking at the big ass elephant, and, and and that's just what I'm telling myself in my head. Like, all right, this this guy right here, this guy is kind of like a uh, like, uh, like dude. Okay, think about think about it, bro. I got a snake on my arm, right? If you kind of see me as a snake, right, and, and you just watch watch Jungle Book, dude. In Jungle Book, man, when the snake came through the forest. Bro, the monkeys, all the monkeys, all the wolves, even the bears, and the tiger respected the snake, bro. Because the snake is fucking powerful, dude. That motherfucker just slid by and was like, fuck. You know, he was like, he was, he was, he was kind of like shot calling. But, and he was posted. You can just see his neck, the snake's neck in Jungle Book, posted, bro. Just like, ready to snap on a, on a, on a wolf. Dude, he would have took anybody out the second that he wanted them, but but he would have never done that because he's a snake, bro. He's a snake, dude. And the monkeys, bro. Monkeys, like when you see people and they're just like fucking monkeys, they always respect the snakes, bro. And and the the wolves, they respect the the snake respected the the alpha wolf, man, uh, of Jungle Book. And that's just how humans are, bro. I got a wolf on my thumb, bro, because I believe in how wolves communicate. I believe in how the pack mentality. I believe in wolves have have ranking. They have super powerful ranking, bro, within their own soul. And it, it wolves are respect respectful creatures, man. 
and they have undeniable ranking, man. They know which ones are the beta males. They know which ones are the alpha males. They know which ones are the omega males. They know which ones are sigma. They know which ones are gamma. Think about dogs, man. I've trained, I personally trained multiple dogs, and dogs automatically obey to their alpha. And if they don't obey to the alpha, then even a dog will test you. If an alpha dog thinks that you're beta as a human, the alpha dog will test your ass, and he'll bite your fucking nuts until you obey to his alpha. And that's just how humans are, man. Even this big ass alpha male out here, I I know where they're at, bro. You could hear alpha male, bro. You could just hear them. You could you could fucking hear them in your head if you truly listen and you you look you listen for alpha male, bro. I know exactly where the alphas are at, and I know exactly who's alpha, and I know exactly who's beta, and I know who the fuck sigma. And I personally don't give a fuck about telling them what they are as long as I know who they are personally. Because they're going to try to tell me it's a lie. And in, in reality, I know what the fuck they are. So that's how I, I always trust my instincts first before anyone's going to tell me what the fuck they are. I'm going to tell them what the fuck they are. Personally, in my head, I'm going to tell myself what they are to me. Straight up, dude, this is, dude, Animal Kingdom is powerful, bro, like, I just want to just, like, get off this freaking video, bro, and just, and just, um, and just watch, like, a National Geographic show, I just want to watch some documentaries about animals, bro, because it's so interesting, it's so interesting, like, and, and there's some people, remember, there's scientific people that don't, that don't believe in, um, animals, man, there's people that, that just think, oh, fucking humans are humans, and you're just gonna be humans, dude, dude, that's, uh, whatever, you, you just gotta respect that, okay, okay, we're just humans, this is whatever, whatever ideology you have, oh, okay, okay, but, bruh, I'm a true believer of animals, bro, Animals are powerful, bro. <laughs> it's just funny, bro. When you start thinking about it, when you start really thinking about it, though, that's where, dude. That's why, bro. Like when I see a big ass buff man, and like he just buff as fuck, and I'm just like, damn, bro, that's a good animal. Cause like, dude, he did everything, bro. They're like gods, bro. They're like gods. The true alpha of this. Of this planet, they're like gods, bro. And I'm not gonna contradict. I'm not gonna contradict the alpha, bro. I'm not gonna contradict uh, alphas, you know. But and even alpha, it's sad, man. It's just sad. Even alphas, man, like true alphas, dude. That they, they will never stop being trying to fight for the alpha, man. And it, you know, it's super sad, man. When two alphas, when they fight, man, that shit breaks my heart every time, bro. That shit breaks my heart every time, bro. Like, I don't want these big ass alpha males to try to kill each other, cause once the once they start fighting, once the true alphas start fighting, they're gonna their alpha is gonna tell them instantly, like deep down, their alpha is gonna tell them, I gotta kill this motherfucker. Because that's what lions do, bruh. Think about animals. Once they start fighting, they're going to kill their fucking prey until they die. And that's just how humans are, man. That's just like how humans are. That's sad, bro. That's sad. Shit's making me sad, bro. It's, it's pretty tough being alpha, man. It's pretty tough being alpha. <laughs> And, like, yeah, man, I also, I, I have to respect the bigger alphas, man, because I'm, I'm just a medium-sized alpha, you know? I got a little wolf. 
I'm just like a wolf, man. I got a wolf on my thumb because I'm like a wolf. All right. And and if you if you kind of know something about wolves and you watch a little documentary or something about wolves, that's exactly how I am. And I'm also like like a snake cuz I got a snake on me, man. Just just like Jungle Book snake. Dude, I'm just like that snake, dude. In Jungle Book, dude, when when he showed up, oh, dude, I got so happy. I was like, bro, that's me. I'm the, I was the snake in that in the Jungle Book. <laughs> exactly like that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, bro. It's funny. It's really funny. I, I I like good animals, man. I like when when humans are just good. They remind me of like cute animals, man. When they're when they're just cute, when they're just normal, and like there's nothing bad happening. That's when I love love animals, man. They're just like good dogs, and like that's how humans are, you know. When they're just good, they just like play like good. I don't know how to explain it. Just the feeling that I get, you know. Like, oh, dude, that's a good human. That's a good human, you know. And that's just how I feel when animals are good. You know, when a when a dog is really good to you and he's loyal to you, and you just feel that dog, and he's just so loyal, and just so nice and polite. And I like when humans are like that as well. Just loyal humans. A loyal human is the best kind of human you could ever get, man. A loyal, polite, respectful human. Is the best thing ever, man. The best interactions happen when people are just respectful, polite, kind, considerate humans, man. It's kind people. It's the best kind of human you could, you could even interact with, man. It's sad to see all these all these bad people, man. That I personally think are bad. But there's people that I, I come across, man, once in a while, that are genuinely kind, bro. And, and even the some some of the best conversations that I've ever had were people that, that were just perfect to me. Like, nothing was wrong. Like, there's some times where just, like, nothing was wrong. Just the whole conversation was on point. I craved those interactions, man. Uh... And it, it's sad that they they never they never come across. It's hard to come across them nowadays, man. Cause people are just snaky, snaky, and and uh, just I don't know, just so, something malicious about people nowadays, man. Malicious. Remember, man, I'm a snake, man, but I'm a good snake. I'm a powerful snake, respectful snake. I'm not like a. a snakes are snakes are not you know people like people they're like oh we gotta stay away from the snakes and that's how i feel man i'm just like dude i gotta stay away from the monkeys i gotta stay away from the little monkeys dude because they're, they're gonna they're gonna eat they're gonna they're just little monkeys and they just keep on playing around all day and they know when the snake comes through he's straight up gonna snake that's just how it is, dude. There's other snakes out here that I gotta watch out for, dude. <laughs> There's snakes that I personally have to be careful for, man. And I'm personally scared of the other snakes. You know, I, I respect them and I get a little scared of them. You know, I'm like, damn, that's a big ass snake. God damn it. But I respect them, bro. But anyways, man, it's just getting dark in this bitch. It's just getting real dark. But I, I'm uh, I'm gonna end this video, man. Stay up, my truckers.